We're going to take a peek behind the scenes of the new Larry Boy series and meet two of the people who work on Larry Boy. Series co-creator Tom Bancroft and the voice of Larry Boy, Mike Naraki. Tom Bancroft oversees the designs of the characters and locations for each new episode. My background is, has been at Disney Animation, so I love the classic Disney films. And uh, I mean, that's a very different kind of animation than what we're doing for Larry Boy. We're doing a lot more of a, uh, you know, Cartoon Network, Saturday morning style. So um, I'm also a big fan of those. I love Powerpuff Girls. I love Dexter's Laboratory. I love Samurai Jack. It's my all-time favorite right now. Um, just because of the, it's such beautiful design and economy of animation. This script, Lego My Ego, was written by um, Sean Gaffney primarily and a little bit of help from Kent Redeker. And they uh, did a great job with coming up with some fun characters. And then from the design aspect, then I'll jump in and start doing designs of the character. Because right now, it's, all it is is a name on a script, The Alchemist, and I'll have a little bit of an idea of what his personality is. And, and hopefully I was able to give some input on what his personality was. But then sitting down to try and design him, he evolves even more. Generally, when, I, when I'm designing the veggie characters, I'm trying to find what would be the right shape. I'm trying to picture them all together also as I'm designing them. So, um, trying to look at the even bigger picture of one day will we ever get these characters together, will they look good together also. To me, the biggest design challenge is the villain. I want the villain to really stand out. That's right, the alchemist! And I want him to be interesting, I want him to be visually as interesting as possible. I want the voices to be funny and interesting also. Good job, Cubby. Mom! And so far so good, I really, I'm really pleased with how the voices and the designs have come together. The fun thing is then to find a new way to show where they would hang out, what is their lair. And in this case we had the alchemist lair. And uh, this is where him and his mom probably live. Uh, but it's also where they make all their plans of all the bad things that they're going to do. In my mind, I see the Alchemist Slayer as being one house just up on a slight hill that is creepier and darker than all the rest. That's the kind of house that I felt like the Alchemist would live in. Okay, we've heard about villains, but what about heroes? Superheroes. Let's meet Mike Naraki, the voice behind Larry and Larry Boy. When I first started Larry, it was based off of a uh, puppet that I did uh, back in college uh, named Soupy. And his voice was, you know, kind of low and really dopey. And, you know, if you watch the very first VeggieTales episode, uh, Where's God When I'm Scared, that's the voice that I used as Larry. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people, for unto you. <clears throat> Wrong story, Larry. Oh, sorry. He's kind of grown into a voice that I'm just really comfortable doing because I do a lot of interviews over the phone as Larry. And so, you know, I, at one point, I think I did, you know, two hours of live radio as Larry, you know, so it's, it had to be a voice that I was really comfortable in, in speaking in. Phil was responsible for, you know, coming up with the idea of Larry Boy. And then, you know, he um, was just a, a big Tim Burton fan, you know, the uh, Batman. Um, and we wanted to, to do Larry Boy in a real kind of tongue in cheek you know, Batman style, so sort of this really, you know, dark and brooding environment, but yet we have this, you know, pickle who's just a goofball. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I've got to go to the bathroom. Uh, we had a little Larry Boy bit that we did at the beginning where he was, you know, pretending that he was the hero of this little city called Bumbleburg, and, you know, he ended up stuck to a wall with his plunger ear, and he couldn't get down, so Bob kind of had to come out and, and pull him off. Larry didn't need to be sad about being plain old Larry because he was special just the way he was. I sure don't need to dress up like a superhero to be special. Nope. Larry, you're special just the way you are. Aw, oh, thanks, Bob. You know, Larry kind of puts on this, you know, superhero, um, you know, kind of mentality. And so, you know, he feels a little bit more confident like that. So, you know, so instead of just, you know, kind of all through the nose, you know, sort of, you know, stands up a little straighter and raises his eyebrow and gets a little more gravel in his throat, and that's Larry Boy. What's wrong, good citizen? Well, you're in luck. I'm the most superest guy in all of Bumbleburg. There's a lot of, well, you know, Larry's yeah. personality in me. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit naive too, and, <laughs> and so is Larry. And so, you know, he, he reacts to things, you know, fairly naively. And so he takes things uh, as, you know, in, in their goodness. He kind of has a really good attitude toward everything. And so normally when I, when I think of what's natural for Larry to say, it's coming, it's coming from kind of that, that space. And even in a superhero, you know, character Larry Boy, you know, it's sort of like a, a child, 
you know, trying to act a little more grown up and a little sure of himself. Mother! And so that's, to me, that's what's most natural about, you know, delivering a Larry line. Thanks, Mike. And now back to Tom Bancroft, who's going to tell us a little bit about the super shorts at the end of each Larry Boy show. The shorts are always fun and a challenge. There's something about how we do the shorts, and so far it's been different every time. With the first one, uh, with Larry Boy and the Fly, it was all, uh, we just gave a premise, uh, just a, a sentence kind of thing to Cornerstone, and said, okay, go off and have fun with it. And so in this case, Todd Carter, who's a uh, storyboard artist here, uh, he wrote up a script. He had an idea for this short, and so it's called Cuke of All Trades. It has a classic feel to it, and that's what we're trying to do with all the shorts, is kind of make them harken back to some of the classic Warner Brothers or um, kind of shorts that are really good, and kind of give it that kind of a feel. So this one does, it has that, it's one of these tension things of a character, in this case Larry Boy, that has to do more than one thing at a time, and it mounts and mounts and mounts to the point where something happens. From there, it all goes crazy. In this case, we got to see a little bit more at Main Street, Bumbley Bird, where there's some shops, and and we got to meet some new characters there, in the Mr. town. So that's what makes it fun. Every time we do a short, so far, it's been a challenge, but a fun ride every time. 